Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on how to, this time, how to install Avatari on top of your Zoom, Skype, I think it's available for WebEx meetings, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. So the first thing you need to do is download this. This is the link in the URL, it's called box-adv-cpk.pth.tar. 716 megabytes um, just click go ahead and download anyways and as soon as you get it uh, don't don't untar it yet you're going to need to install a couple different things so the first thing you're going to need to install is called the mini conda i know i know so let's go ahead and go there mini conda so this is the python installer 3.7 is preferred so mine's 64 bit so let's go ahead and install it and then install it i already have git installed but if you don't uh definitely install git which is just git dash scm.com if this is on windows 10 by the way and then download dash win and then make sure you pick the right uh bit for yours so i'm gonna go ahead and run miniconda it's fine. I have 112 gigs in there. Okay, so once those are installed, we're going to make sure that Miniconda is actually installed before we can move any further. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Alright, so once that's done, you're going to go and type in your um, uh, Miniconda. So you just go start windows. Type correctly. Ah. Mini Conda. And this is what it looks like. Okay, and then all we're going to do is download and install the Avatari Git repository, which is pretty simple. Like this, so git space clone space https colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash alivk forward slash avatarify dot git. Just gonna wait here. Okay, and then change the directory to have uh, oops, avatarify. Change the directory to that one. And then we're going to type in scripts uh, forward slash install and then underscore, oh, I'm sorry, windows dot bat. Okay, so this is very important. So it's make sure you're in the avatar directory, go to scripts, backslash install underscore windows dot bat. And then once that finishes, um, yeah, which is that one vox-adv-cpk.pth-tar. Um, now that that's finished and installed, it takes quite a bit of time. Your time may vary. We're going to paste in this command, run, the one I told about earlier, run underscore windows dot bat. I believe we're going to pick zero. Oops, going to go ahead and just let it finish doing its thing. But I believe it's zero. Once this is correct, we're going to open up two different windows. Change your, um, apparently you can't have the camera of my other camera going on at the same time. Uh, <clears throat> so, so what I mean by that is I had Camtasia capturing my uh, camera and then <laughs> and then on top of that um, so as you can see right here Mr. Einstein himself is on my screen and you have to really enunciate for his mouth to move but it does work so this is just a, to show you that it works. You cannot have a recording um, 
app going on at the same time while you're trying to record because it won't work and that was the error I was getting when I, I ran the that code so basically what you do from here is you just need to be able to capture the camera from this right here and then pop it into your zoom um, so it's pretty simple um, in fact let's just start it up let's just see what's gonna happen here if we open up zoom right now and then go to uh, maybe new meeting I don't know if I have to do the whole OBS thing but we'll find out. So it's pretty simple. So in the Anaconda prompt, you just always run. You change your directory to that uh, to the correct path to Avatari and run underscore Windows dot bat. Which is pretty simple. Um, so let's go ahead and install OBS virtual cam. We're going to say, okay, I agree. Sure, why not? Sure, one. This one right here. Just install plug and register only one virtual camera. That was my bad. So that could screw it up um, if you don't do this correctly. Boom. 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 All right, now that that's done, uh, we can run the OBS Studio. So let's see if this works with Stream OBS. Um, so we can add the source. Uh, we could add the source section and add it. So let's bring it over. Sorry, Stream OBS Camstasia plus this running in the background is causing all kinds of fun issues. Um, and of course, my glasses are making the eyes kind of funky and not capturing it correctly. So. And here we're going to try to install the python.exe uh, avatari in the drop down. Uh, there we go. Hello there. And um, I like it too. So then um, all you got to do is go to avatari folder crop pictures to take them square and I believe it's just the avatar folder right here and then um, and cam zero so this is where you make the changes to your your camera for the avatars so let's talk about controls so in your controls uh, these will be pretty simple actually so in your keyboard you just um, hit the one it's all one through nine so three this is Steve Jobs four if I was the Mona Lisa five if I was um, Barack uh, Hussein Obama um, we're gonna make America great again if you're Mr. Potter, so you just anything like this, um, it's pretty simple. Yeah, it's pretty simple. However, the mouth movement doesn't pick up very well, and maybe my Chinese eyes don't pick up the eyes very well. I don't know, but I, 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 <laughs> anyways, uh, if you use the button Q, it uh, turns on the style. Uh, uh, so basically a randomly generated avatar and there is something wrong with my eyeball. Just pick it back to honored. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'm just tired. Uh, you can always go back and forth uh, in the avatar by hitting A and D. Uh, you can zoom in it with W and S. Um, your reference frame is X. Oh, there we go. So I reset the frame and that looks way better. Um, and if you want to mirror it, so I mirrored the web camera, so maybe it changes your eyes a little bit better. Um, yeah, you can mirror the output video as well, which is pretty cool. It, and then just escape, uh, that's it. 
So if you want to see me install OBS and use the OBS camera, I will. I use uh, Stream OBS, so it doesn't have that kind of functionality, but it is something that is pretty cool and uh, I believe is going to make a great, great system to add into my Zoom. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Alrighty, everybody. Sorry, that is my cell phone going off. Pretty simple. Let's get into the first section, which is installing OBS. So if you don't have OBS, go ahead and install the OBS full installer. As you can see right here, this is what I have currently on my screen. Um, so now that I installed OBS the correct way, not just um, stream OBS. So go ahead and open up your OBS. And then what we're going to do, we're going to hit this little plus sign down here in the sources section. You're going to choose your Windows capture option. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to add, uh, create a new one. And we're going to pick that same thing we did last time, which we need to run. So hit cancel. We're going to run that command, run windows dot bat. It sets the camera up. We'll go ahead and let it run. All right, so now that that's done, so as we can tell here, we got the avatar running, we ran the script tag, we just need to edit the sources, so properties, and go find that python.exe folder, and there it is. Um, and it transform and then say fit to screen, okay? And then next in our OBS tools section, we're going to go to virtual cam. Where the heck is that thing at? Go find that OBS installer right here. And let's go back to your downloads folder and install that virtual camera again. Make sure you just do the one. This one right there finished. Let's go open up OBS. Not sure if it actually opened or not. Ah, there it goes. There it is, virtual cam. You click on the auto start function um, and set buffered frames to zero and then click start. And then um, the OBS camera should be available in Zoom. So now if we just minimize out of all of this stuff, and we go to our Zoom, new meeting. Uh, let's not do that one. OBS camera. And if we hit start video, it's going to have some issues with the virtual background, um, so we can just unchoose the virtual background to none. See if we can get the other camera up. Oh, there we go. It's because you actually have to have this one open. Um, but so in Zoom, so if you click on your avatar, you can reset it like that. So right now I'm in my Zoom. And I can switch it back to uh, whoever I want to. So if I want to be Barack, I am now Barack inside of the Zoom conference meeting uh, using my avatar uh, program because that's what it's capturing. And then it's capturing that and then putting it back into the camera, which is pretty cool. All right, so that demonstrates how to use deep fakes on the interwebs and uh, apply to Zoom. It does the same thing for Skype because it's just capturing a video component and then pushing it out as the video source. So pretty simple. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and hit escape and end the meeting. Thank you for viewing and definitely go visit my website, vitechaz.com um, or check out my YouTube videos, subscribe, like the button if you like it, uh, leave a comment if you want, thanks.